All right, today I'm going to show you what I did with my uh, two Arduino Pro Micros. I have a lot more, but this is what I'm doing with these two. Um, I too see communication between both of them, basically just between two wires, like normal I too see communication. Uh, if you're new to this, this is how easy it is. I put uh, one into pin two and three on this one, and one into pin two and three on this one corresponding two to two three to three um also i have a hooked it up to uh raw and ground on both and it's hooked up to one of these breadboard nine volt battery thingies that's the technical term i believe i also have a wire here connected to nine i'm going to call this one the sender and this one's going to be the receiver sender receiver so the sender has a red wire going to this button here and um, buttons hooked up as normal I didn't use any uh, internal resistors or anything just one old school um, the receiver in port 9 pin 9 has a blue LED connected to it so pin 9 has a button on the sender pin 9 has a LED on a receiver and basically um, the code is going to tell the sender when the re when um, the code is going to tell the receiver when the sender hit the button. So here we go. Power it up. Got a green light. Both of these are on. Now I'm going to hit the button. And as you see, the light comes on. And that's not a simple, you know, I'm not, this button is not wired into that Arduino directly. So I'm not pressing a button on the receiver for pin 9. If you can see the wiring, the button is connected to this Arduino. And the receiver is the one with the LED connected. So as you can see, these two are communicating wired. I wanted to go wireless. I got some RF receivers. They're, one of them, I believe, was bad. I can get one to work. The second one just will not do anything, even with the same connections. So I think it's a bad chip. But uh, I have some node MCUs on the way, which I'm going to mess with when I get here, when they get here. But uh, for now, I want to do some wired stuff until I get the wireless stuff here. But uh, that's it right here. It's really simple. A few wires and some code. Uh, there's example code. Uh, if you guys leave a comment, I can point you in that direction. Maybe next video, I'll, I'll put it up there. But uh, that's how simple it is. I mean, you can connect these things as long as your wires will go and they'll talk to each other so if you need a way for your arduinos to talk also you want them to operate together now you got double the pins you know you got two arduinos you can use all the rest of the pins and one can even tell the other one what to do you know one one's a master one's a slave so i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll keep trying to make crazy stuff